Hi, so here we are going to take one solved example based on counting principle and it is the very simple problem. Here we are going to use the rules of AND and OR. This problem is divided into two parts. Statement says, in how many ways three different coins can be placed in two different purses and the second part is two different coins can be placed in three different purses. So first we are going to solve the first problem. Here we have three coins. We have three coins and we have two purses, right? So if I take the first coin, it can go either to purse number one or it can go to the purse number two, right? Let me call it purse number one and this one as purse number two, right? And if the first coin goes to the purse number one, then for second coin, again, we have two choices, right? It can either go to purse number one or purse number two. Right? Or when the first coin goes to purse number 2, for the second coin, again we have two choices. Either it can go to the purse number 1 or the purse number 2. Right? And for third coin, again we have two choices. Right? Like this. So there are these total eight different ways in which these three coins can be placed in two different purses. Right? And how do we calculate it? For the first coin, we have two choices, right? It can either go to purse number one or it can go to the purse number two. For the second coin also, we have two choices. And for the third coin also, we have two choices. Either it can go to the purse number one or the purse number two, right? And all these three coins are supposed to be put in one of these purses, right? That means these tasks of putting the coin into the purse are in AND. We have to put the first coin in one of the two purses and we have to put the second coin in one of the two purses and we have to put the third coin in one of the purses, right? That means we have to multiply the choices for each of these coins, right? And that is how we get 2 to the power 3 choices that is equal to 8, right? This is the diagrammatic representation of this process and this is how we calculate. So what are the possible outcomes? So if this is the first coin, this is the second coin and this is the third coin, the arrangements can be one, all of them are in purse number one. Second arrangement can be these two are in the purse number one and this is in purse number two. Third arrangement can be this is in purse number one, this is in purse number two and this is in purse number one. Fourth arrangement can be this is in purse number one, this is in purse number two and this is in purse number two, right? And same set can be repeated with the first coin in purse number two, second in one, third in one, first in two, second in one, third in two, first in two, second in two and third in one and first in two, second in two, and third in two. These are the possible eight ways in which you can put three different coins into two different purses, right? So this was the first example and I have explained you using all the three methods. This is by writing down all the possibilities manually. This is the tree method or the method using diagram and this is the method using the rules of AND and OR. Right. So now let's solve the second part of the question. In second part, we have to put these two coins into three different purses. So now we have only two coins and the number of purses are three. Right. So for each coin, we actually have three choices. Right. So for first coin, we have three choices. It can go either to purse number one or purse number two or purse number three. And after this point for second coin, again, we have three choices and the choices can again be either the purse number one, two or three. Here also we'll have three choices, right? And here also we'll have three choices. So how many choices do we have in all? Here we have total one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine choices. Right? For the first coin, we have three choices and for the second coin, again, we have three choices. So all these choices have to be multiplied and then we will have total nine choices. Right? And if we use the table method, here we have coin number one and here we have coin number two. 
If we put the coin number 1 in first purse, we will have three choices for the second coin. That means if first coin is put in the purse number 1, second can be put in the purse number 1, or it can be put in the purse number 2, or it can be put into purse number 3. Right? Similarly, if the first coin is put in the purse number 2, the second can be put into 1, 2, or purse number 3. Right? And if the first coin is put in the purse number 3, the second coin can be put into the purse number 1, purse number 2, or the purse number 3. So these are the possible 9 outcomes for the second case. Right? And since you have to put both the coins into one of these purses, the choices are supposed to be multiplied. So there are 3 choices or 3 options for the first coin and there are three options for the second coin also. So both these options will get multiplied because both the coins have to be put in one of the purses and that is how we get nine choices, right? So the answer for the first question is eight. We have total eight choices or eight different ways in which three coins can be placed into two different purses and we have total nine options possible for two different coins to be placed in three different purses. So this was one of the basic examples for the counting principles, right? And after this, we are going to take slightly tricky problem again based on the same counting principles, right? So keep watching MathSmart and bye-bye till then.